Hey everybody, so how do you close business by the end of this year, okay? We only got a few weeks left, okay? And I'm gonna show you the number one technique, okay, that has worked for a lot of our clients, as well as myself, of getting stuff closed by the end of the year, okay? And I do something called the top five, but I'm only gonna give you one on this because I think this is probably the coolest one. Think about the objections you're getting right now. Hey, we just don't have the time between now and the end of the year, okay? This is a December 31st. Sorry, or we can't get a hold of, you know, can't get a hold of Bob or Mary. She's already, or he's already off on vacation. So you're getting a lot of these type of things, and even maybe even money. And I know for sales reps, a lot of times we're trying to do the whole, hey, well, you know, if you don't do this by the end of the year, we're going to raise your price. And sometimes your customer's going, yeah, whatever. I'm sure if I call you after the new year, I'll still do it. So I get that there's a lot going on here, okay? So. We actually closed this, and I'm only saying this because this was the coolest one. We did $2.9 million, and we did 51 deals in one day in Chicago on a class with a client. And out of the top five, this was the number one one, and it's called Grab a Pen. So I want you to try this when you call, right now with your existing deals. If you got stuff that stalled, or maybe they went all dark on you, okay? So you're having a hard time getting a hour back. Let me give you a simple two-step process on this, okay? So number one, you wanna leave them a voicemail message. The reason is because they can hear tone and inflection, but what you don't wanna do, you don't wanna be the, the real happy rep saying, hey, Bob, or hey, Mary, if you get a second, give me a holler back. I wanna run through this. You don't wanna be that person. You, all, you actually wanna be um, a little bit, I'm gonna kinda wipe this off here. I wanna be a little bit more serious, okay? That doesn't mean mean, but I just wanna be a little serious, okay? And what you want to do is you want to leave them a message and say, hey, Bob, if you get a second, can you give me a holler back? Um, tell you what, let me give you my mobile. i got to run something by. It's pretty important. If you can call me today, that'd be great. Be relatively serious with it. Now, here's why. I'm assuming that you have met with the client numerous times. You've built up rapport. You have a connection. You each know each other. This isn't something we're trying to do completely blind where they hardly know us. So remember, this technique is based on you have some type of relationship and rapport with that person, okay? Now, when they call back, okay, so step two is we're gonna do grab a pen, okay, but we're gonna be a little bit different here. We're now gonna be, we're now gonna be confident and happy, and here's how you do this. When they do call back, you now wanna say, hey, Bob, how are you? How's it going? Great, and he's gonna go, how are you? Good, you go, hey, you got a pen. I know it sounds crazy, but do you have a pen? And they're gonna go, well, okay, well, yeah, I have a pen, why? Because they're gonna be a little bit lost, and you go, hey, sign that thing, let's get you fixed, and stop talking. I know it might be one of the hardest things for you to do, but this day when we did this, this was the number one technique, and here's why. People don't mind being told what to do as long as you make it about them. They do mind being told what to do if you make it about you. So make it about them. Let's get you fixed. Think about what a doctor does. They do surgery. They go, hey, how you doing? They go, congrats, buddy, you're up and running. Okay, or congrats, Mary, you're up and running. Okay, either way, it's about you, the patient, not them, the doctor. Try this technique. Now, obviously, you can't do it with all your opportunities, but I, what I will tell you is this. When you do it, you know, the, there's two things that will happen. You'll be surprised. One of the largest deals ever closed in my life, the person said, fine, let's do it. Okay? I actually have one of the largest um, cellular companies, probably the largest in the world, who did it to close one of the largest deals ever. It worked with them. So it does work a lot. Here's the worst thing that happened. He's going, well, tell you what, uh, you, we really can't do that because. Here's the great thing about it. At least you're going to find out where you actually stand, okay, in terms of where you actually stand in terms of getting that deal closed or not by the end of the year. So a lot of times they say yes, or then they'll tell you, well, I appreciate your confidence there, you know, the Bob or Mary, but here's where we're at. And then they'll tell you exactly what needs to be done. And if they give you two or three steps, then you could say, great, tell you what, if we have the ability of actually doing this right now, can we still have an opportunity to get you fixed by the end of this year? Keep making it about them. So just FYI, this is one of the top techniques that can actually help you get stuff closed by the end of the year. Grab a pen, be real positive when they call back, make sure you be serious on the voicemail, and I think you'll be surprised how much you move that needle forward. Good selling, we'll talk to you soon.